the meeting has finally happened. First time with Biden being the president of the United States. Between himself and Pope Francis, we're going to get into all the details about what these two had to talk about in just a second, guys. First, if you could, please like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, and wear the glasses because I'm blind. Also, if you could, guys, consider making a generous donation here to our ministry as we're demonetized on YouTube. They don't support what we do. You could help us out in a major way, though. If you enjoy the daily video content we put out talking about end-time Bible prophecy headlines and our ministry here of getting people to Jesus Christ, you can help out through PayPal or Patreon or even just 5 bucks a month on Patreon will get you bonus content. Plus, we include the links to the YouTube videos so you get all alerts when new content arrives. You can comment there, censorship-free, send me direct messages. It's a great way to step to date with all the content that we put out here. Another big reminder, I can't stress enough, go sub to me on Rumble. That's our backup in case we're kicked off of YouTube. We're already posting there. Go check it out. All the links are down below. A big thank you to everybody already contributing. And for those of you thinking of doing so, thank you as well. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. So this meeting finally took place. Uh, earlier on today, Biden meeting with Pope Francis, and he was asked the question, you know, what would you talk about? Did you did you talk about, you know, the little ones? Because you guys know who I'm talking about when I say the little ones that, you know, Biden as a Catholic, you know, according to his religion, he should be protecting, but he does not protect the little ones at all. We know this. Biden said they did not talk about that during their meeting. But instead, he said that Pope Francis called him a good Catholic who should be able to keep receiving communion. Now, that's despite Biden's stance on the little ones, the fact that he doesn't protect them, the fact that he is pretty much okay with doing the most horrible things, you know, you could think of to them. And you know where I'm going with that. And I got to be careful with what I say. The Pope calling Biden a good Catholic alone should show you that Pope Francis is not a Catholic. Now, I'm not a Catholic either. However, as an evangelical, a non-denominational Christian myself, I recognize there are things that I share with the Catholic faith. Okay, And one of those is protecting the little ones. Other things as well, but we're going to focus on that here for the topic of this video. <laughs> So Francis saying that shows you that he's completely illegitimate as far as leader of the Catholic Church. Biden being a Catholic? No, 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 he's not a Catholic. And remember, this whole controversy started when there were priests across the country who said they were going to be denying Biden communion because of his position with the little ones. Several of them said, you go into our church. In fact, there was a church in South Carolina when Biden was campaigning in 2019 a priest who did not give him communion, denied him because of his stance. Others that are more left-leaning priests have said they will gladly give Biden communion. And now Biden's saying that Pope Francis said he should absolutely be able to receive it. Although he said that he didn't actually receive the Eucharist with the Pope himself during their meeting. They were supposed to be talking about Rona and the climate change and all this other stuff. They also had asked Biden about if they talked about the U.S. Conference of Catholic Bishops, who was supposed to be voting on, you know, whether or not priests could have the right to deny communion uh, to those individuals, especially politicians who share Biden's views on the little ones. Uh, Biden said, oh, so that was a private conversation. He didn't, he didn't want to talk about that. Uh, they're expected uh, to vote on this at their fall conference here next month. So we'll see what that ends up being. Here's the point. Here, here's my point on this. I appreciate a priest saying we're going to deny Biden communion because of his stance. He won't, he won't protect the little ones. But here's the main thing. Biden doesn't care if he gets communion. That, that, that's the bigger story here. People act as if he cares. He doesn't care. He could care less about communion. He'll make it a big deal because it'll, it'll you know, It'll say that, oh, people are being unfair towards him. It's those religious people. They won't even let me have communion. So he's just using this as an opportunity to get more support and sympathy from more the left-leaning, you know, wing of the Catholic Church or the religious side, whatever you want to call them. That's what this is all about. It's never been about the communion. He could care less. This man is not a Catholic. This man, 
<laughs> this man outright is most likely a follower of the devil himself, along with Pope Francis, okay? It, you you got to know that. You got to realize who these people really are, and they're, they're, they're hiding it. They're disguising communion as the, the big problem they have, and that's not what it's about at all. And I think a lot of you would probably agree with me on that. Uh, this meeting of the minds with these two guys, I, I mean, look, the, the global reset, the global you know order that's coming, you know, these two, I know Pope Francis has a big part to play in that. Biden, you know, he'll at some point he'll be cast to the side, but even still, he's going along with it. This is not a good individual at all, ladies and gentlemen. These people are not men of faith. They pose as it. Jesus warned us about them. You are seeing it now play out before your very eyes. That's why we do these videos. We talk about the prophetic news headlines going on around the world because we are in the last days and Jesus Christ is coming back soon. The question is, are you ready to meet him as your Lord and Savior? If not, we want to give you that chance right now like we do on all of our videos to accept Christ. You could do this prayer in your own words, but I'll give you the steps that you need to bring it before the Lord. Here's the first thing that you want to do, and that's to acknowledge that you're a sinner. It's something that we all are. But God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do, though, is repent of your sin. And that means to turn from your sin, not just to say you're sorry, but to turn from a lifestyle, a habit, whatever it is in your life that goes against the word of God. You ask Jesus to forgive you. He'll wipe that sin away. The Bible says he won't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you, there is no greater decision you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. I pray you make that decision today. I will have more for you guys on this down below. You can let me know your thoughts. Don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. It is a great blessing if you can help us out. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.